But yeah, really cool team. I like the Weezing. I think the only changes I would actually make are putting on like a Black Sludge and Leftovers into the Amoogus and Weezing. But that's just personally because I like to switch a lot and protect a lot. And I feel you get a lot more value off of those items than like Pinch and Damage Reduced Berries. So I like the team a lot. Mr. Rhyme is so freaking good. This is the best Pokemon on the team. Yo, Rabombi. Do you guys think that's safety goggles prim? Like, I don't know if I actually want to risk that, you know? Like, going for a Amoongus. I feel like I'd much rather just use Weezing. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I think Mr. Rhyme's just a great lead here. We can fake out the prim. We can do all those mods take massive damage from Mr. Rhyme. We can trick him the uh, Hatterene. Like, I think it's really, really good play. I'm actually just looking at this. If I lead Mr. Rhyme and, like, my own prim, I just like this a lot. Because we just have a really good matchup versus a lot of those. Heatmore's still good. We need to bring the Weezing still. And then we need a Mon that we can bring out to like revenge KO things mid to late game. I think Braviar is okay. I think Heatmore is okay. I think Braviar is a little bit better because we can give ourselves a Tailwind over that Dracovish if need be. Right, let's go. Heatmore could be usable here, but I'm not I'm not a fan. Only thing Heatmore would be used for is like Sucker Punch into like a Dracovish and then you die. Not not sold on that one. I think Braviary is just a little bit better. Braviary can also kind of deal with the Colossal. Like, close combat will do good damage to a Colossal that's not in max mode. Really surprised to see them running Colossal without running a Gastro. Right now, they're looking at our team. They're like, fuck, it's Weezing. And I'm like, I know, right? So busted. I can taunt that Pateri if I lead Weezing. But they can also just hit me in the face. So I gotta watch out. That's why we're not leading with it. So let's see what they're leading with. Uh, I have fake outs. Gonna speed swap in a hat. We'll see. We will see. Now, I'm more of a fan of Weezing than I was when I originally tried it. Because I felt like the Weezing was holding the team back. But I, I do like it. This speed swap in a hat. Alright, we're just gonna kill him now. Uh, I like Prim, right? So let me actually think about how I do want to deal with this. Because I can just trick him in now. Like, I can just go fake out there and just nuke it. I think that works. I think that'll do it. I actually think you want to Starfall, just so you don't get confused. By the G-Max Smite. Hopefully it still KOs. Yeah, let's try it. Big Mr. Rhyme Energy. Again, this would still really be really nice if we had the Expanding Force. I, I guess the only, one good reason about having Psyshock, though, like, you know... Playing Devil's Advocate, I guess, that most of the are built special D defensive right now. So Psyshock does more damage, and uh, it's better against Conkelder. Uh, it's way better against, like, Verizion. So, like, I understand Psyshock. Like, I like Psyshock more than Psychic, but I feel like you might just have Expanding Force. Let's go Big Prim. I want to see if he protects with that Rabombi. How nutty of a play that'd be. He's going to put the Swap. Cool. I looks like I'm playing this right. Because Hatterene can totally not care about whatever that is. Sorry, uh... Premarina does not care about that Hatterene, right? And he was going for the speed swap strat. I think we're okay. Like, he's not trick rooming because he's max. So I think we're okay. Let's see if he uh, protects. If he does protect with the uh, Rabombi, though, that is good for them. All right, doesn't. All right, cool. Ugh. Big rhyme energy. And then hopefully we get the KO here so they can't do it next turn. Perfect. So no speed swap. And no potential confusion from the, uh, whatever, good attack. No G-Max Smite strats. It's not shield us. What would, oh, what would shield us? Would it have stopped my fake out? Just notice I changed my character. Yes. Yes. I did change my character. So let's see. What are they going to do? How do we know if it shield us? Am I, is, there, is there a mechanic I'm not I'm sleeping on here? Rabombi's a Pokemon that like I, I always shield, shield us does stop flinching from fake out. Oh it does. No it doesn't. No, it does totally no, doesn't. Shield dust? Let me Google this. I am searching anymore. Alright. No way. You're right. I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. Smite could still confuse me. It can't. I have a I have a terrain up. Misty terrain. Yeah, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, so the thing about it is, like, I've actually never really liked Ribombi, and like I was just talking about it. I know it's like a bug Pokemon, and I'm the guy that's supposed to like all the bug Pokemon. I just don't really like Ribombi, and I've never really used it. I've just one of those things, like, I've, I already have weird bug things that I use, you know? So that's actually really good. I think the other ability he gets is really good too. Yeah, I just learned something. Both of us just learned something new. I didn't know that. Maybe I did know that. I just forgot. That seems that seems like something that's also more appropriate. Sitting in the rain there is going to make it so we can probably kill the hat next turn. I think I'm going to go for... Oh, Flare. Yo, go for it, Chief. Yo, the big Flare. Um, So he actually outspeeds the Rhyme. Do I care? Like, do I care, though? Can't protect. I can switch in Weezing to help block the Gale Wings. Turns off my Liquid Voice. Turns off Magic Bounce. The thing about it is, like, I feel like I'm okay just having Rhyme on the board. Like, if you want to KO my Mr. Rhyme, like, you did it. Like, you earned it. Um, yeah, let's see if we can have damage. He has to watch out for me switching in the uh, heat more too, or the like a moose or something like that. So he has to. It's not all. It's not all uphill from here. And if, if he does go for like the gale wings, like brave bird into my Mister Rhyme, he has to be using a dual wing beat to not lose his own gale wings, which would be really nice. Is there a reason to not double? I don't think Talonflame is worth going after. That's like the thing. I have a pre marina. That's why. Like I don't feel like respecting Talonflame is as important. He's gonna break his own Gale Wings. Like, it's a thing. Like, if I really cared about his Gale Wings, I would have hit him last turn, or the two turns ago with the Hydro Vortex. But I think getting damage to stick on this Prim is just a little bit better play. I wanna see if it's a Berry. Mindstorm. Alright, cool. That works. So he's ready for Expanding Force, and he can totally tail him, but I still think he's too slow. And, like, I can Hyper Voice. It's not gonna do, like, a ton here, but, like, we'll see. Yeah, I like the Braviary. I like Braviary more than Weezing, I would say. Prim has some speed if they're built TR. Yeah, that's why I think we're fine even if he Tailwinds. I think we just double target the Hatterene and we're good. Because if he wants to go for like, like what's, what does Talonflame actually do to Primarina? Like that's the, that's the real question. Like what do you do to Primarina? I think this Dazzling will KO. I'll risk it. I don't think Hyper Voice would. I think a Dazzling will KO. And Brave Bird will take out the Talon Flame. I don't know what they do though. Protect Hat? Go for it. So I get free damage here. Gleam Hat? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, if I wasn't correct, if I'm correct, he's also, wasn't he uh, orbed? So like he would take so much more damage. He's gonna lose his Talonflame for this. And, uh, actually, I might lose my Braviary. Which is fine, I don't really care. Spe I would've definitely killed the hat, though. And now he doesn't have a Tailwind either, so, like, now I think we're just in a great spot. Oh, we're still alive, I'll take that. I will take it! He has a Mindstorm up. But we'll see, he has one more Mon, right? We'll see if this one Mon can, like, completely change the game. Dracovish! Talk about changing the game! Talk about game changers. Those good Ivies. What do we got in the back? We got Weezing! Hey, my my guy, my Weezing. My champion. I think the fact that it's like sunny day right now, we're good. If you want to fish us around my prim, I don't think I die. I think you have to fish us around the Braviary. Braviaries don't always carry protect either, so I think it's actually a good play to go after the Braviary from his side. How you no trick room? What do you mean? No, I haven't let it use a move. It, it probably has Trick Room. I have not let it attack. <laughs> There's the crunch. Yo, oh, he read me. Yo, defense dropping us. I see you. Hey, don't act like I don't see you. And now we go. Now we got it. Can't hit us both. You didn't knock yourself on a rock slide. Is that max speed hat? No. Probably full HP, full special attack. It relies off the speed swap play, right? That's what we were talking about. He didn't outspeed me or underspeed me. I outsped him every time. 
Think they expect you to take yourself out with recoil? Are you talking about last turn? He protected last turn. So like we had that. Like the only attacks that Hatterin was ever able to go for were attacks in max mode on turn one, two, and three. So we'll take it. Get that Rabombi out of here. Oh, the turn fish use crunch. Well, I mean, Hat didn't get to go for anything. I killed it. This guy's starving for a win using that team. Let's see. Uh, eat more. Eat more. It has to be darker, Shifu. Okay. So let's see. I think Prim's just a great mon here. You can't, you can't stop it. You could go for fake outs, but like it doesn't really get you anywhere. And we could always switch in our wheezing. I actually think you want to go like heat more as a lead, as weird as that sounds. Because it tunnels you into that slot. I like heat more. It says that like that freaking sneezles like big sad. If it's water or shifu, Mr. Ryan bodies it. I think you're shot up in the braviary. Alright, let's go. More if it leads coal. You might. Yo, let's go. Call me handy, says you're a beast, bro. Yo, what kind of ultra beast am I though? What kind of ultra beast would I be? Hmm. I'd be Faramosa, obviously. Elegant, strong, confident. Doesn't need no support. Yeah, yeah, they're sad. They're sad. He was like, yes. All right, so I think we just... Yo, get hit with the wolf glick tech. The only thing you can even do is switch in Gashodon, and Gashodon would just eat the max geyser because we switched in a Weezing. And if they want to go for fake outs, I'm maxing, right? Yo, nice Gashodon switch in. Yo, no one's seen that tech before. I guess he could protect the coal to like fish, but he doesn't have an ability right now. That's the thing. Like he has no ability. Like you ain't got nothing. Neutralizing wins. I want the trainer looks just like me now, right? We have the same. We have the same freaking like haircut and everything. We both got the glasses on. Got the black shirt. Same energy. I was like, what? <laughs> Wheezing, no. Yeah, let's go. Oh, nice Dynamax, Chief. You better be Max Garden. Oh, doesn't this just feel good? When do you think he's going to rage quit? At what, at what point do you think he's going to turn his game off and break his switch in half? He's going to be left with like a Gastrodon and a Sneasel. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh, bye bye. Oh, it's gonna get even worse when I max overgrow with that Gastron. Yo, you rage quit when you guys. I think he, I think you actually rage quit from the overgrowth. We'll take those. Feels wheezing, man. Feels wheezing. We should actually make an exclamation point see ya like thing and it should just link people to my youtube account it's like want to see this video check the youtube because like usually whenever those funny plays happen it ends up on youtube eventually overgrowth yo do we really i'm just gonna steam it he's gonna run ain't no way you're trying to win your way out of this one really yo he's going for it sneeze gonna pop the big protect yo go for it my guy i dare you you should have seen that play coming. Of course, he shouldn't have tried to go colossal against me. Yo, is that a is that a Rindo berry? You shouldn't be allowed to eat berries. <laughs> Kidding. Yo, he lived. The boy who lived. Uh, he can totally go for like a uh, Earth Power. I don't think we die. Good for him. Guys, would have actually done more. Yeah, than a Rindo berry. This guy's full of surprises. Show me that EP, baby. Let's go. Oh, we living. 
talk about getting down with the thickness right now. All right, so let's see what we want to do here. I can go with the gastro. I think we just nuke the gastro. Yeah, I think you actually just like dumpster the gastro. We're actually gonna starfall because we don't want to like have him like somehow KO our wheezing, right? And then just be like storm drain Lamau. I hope he surfs too, that'd be funny. He would maybe K his own gastro. Yo! Yo, where's the crit on your gastro, Chief? Nice surf though. Nice. Value. Delete. It's time for those wins. And then I can start doing AoE. Yeah, you want to hit the gastro there. I wanted to KO too. Oh well. Strange team, maybe those KOs. Are you Sash or Eviolite? Survey says probably Sash. Oh, just Eviolite. Because, like, that's really thick. But we just Hyper Voice from here. He's like, now my secret weapon! Like, what other ability? Urshifu, yo, go for it. How's it feel to, like, get protected on? That surfed with, like, two damage boosts in the rain. He's actually correctly using a Sneasel, though, with, like, uh, special attack, reduced nature, and probably zero um, IVs there. So the big Hyper... Ooh, wait. The big D-Gleam. The big D-Gleam... And it's probably the Sash on the Urshifu, so we actually just want to Sludge Bomb in it. Because we don't want to miss. He can't take out the Prim, though. Prim's way too thick. This guy's like, how did I use Colossal? <laughs> and lose to the Heatmore guy. Because I the, the Heatmore was an integral part of our strategy. Like, he wouldn't have went for that. Actually, that's a good flinch. That's a lot of damage, actually. That's a shit ton of damage. Uh, he, he's probably Bando. It's probably El Bando. Let's see what we got. Hold on. That's a that's a game changer and a half. I can kill that Sneasel on our own with a, one of these moves. Can't do anything with this, though. So let's just do the same play. You can only hit one. You can only stop this. That's a nice play. Band? That big banded energy. That foul play. Yo, he wants it. He's coming for me right now. You better hit the Weezing. Nope. Alright, hopefully I hit my move. He's banned, he can't be brave, right? Or the uh, heat more. <laughs> Dumpster. But you know what? He did get his KO. <laughs> he did get his KO on the pre-marina. Alright, and now, actually, this is so good. This is the best thing ever. And now, he gets to lose to heat more. <laughs> Feels heat more, man. He's like, yes, I can surf this. You think you can do these things, but you just can't, Nemo. Oh, come on! You didn't want to be part of the highlight reel. Rank Master Heatmore. I'll take the win. Kabalion! So, like, I think there has to be, like... You have to run, like, goggles there, right? So, I, I actually think the best way to beat that is to just go with... How would you build Heatmore? I don't think it gets much better than this. This is probably the best Heatmore set of all time. The thing is, I know he has a rock attack, so like, I want to go, I, I really want to go like, heat more Mr. Rhyme. Wait, what if we did go heat more Mr. Rhyme? I think we're really wheezing just in, just in case. <laughs> and then we need one more Mon. I think Prim is pretty decent. Alright, watch this savage play. What do you think we're going to do? What do you think? Everyone watching at home. What would you do in this situation if you were me? What is the sauciest play that you can make with a Mr. Rhyme heat more lead? Oh, he's leading rain. That's lame. You're boring. Stop being boring. Dang it. I wanted to go trick room. I wanted to trick room him. I'm still probably going to trick room him. No, I'm not. Um, I'm just going to freeze dry the crap out of that polytoad. Damn. You, some people are no fun. I don't even think there's a reason. That, I think I'm just going to switch the pre-marina in here. I wonder how much damage this actually does. 
Because if I can put him within range for like a sucker punch, that'd be super nice. I'll see how much damage we mitigate. How do you come up with a new team every day? Um, this is actually one of my mods teams, but I can come up with a new team at any time. There's like 500 freaking Pokemon in the game. Just pick one. If this does over half, I'm happy. If it does over half, I'm a happy kid. I didn't want to show Weezing yet either. Helping hand, oh my goodness. Yo, he he's not he's not messing around right now. Guys are in the uh Mr. Rhyme, right? That's fine. That's fine. I'd love to do over half, but I don't think I do. Oh, he's orb too. That's actually really good for me. Oh my goodness! Yo, we are popping it off. Oh we froze it! Oh yo, that's the biggest freeze. The big freeze. Ah. But now I come up with a new team every like couple days. Like just pick a Pokemon. Prime is on time right now. We're doing this just in case we're trying to steal. Like I don't know how bulky that Woody Cole is, or how much special attack or speed investment he has, but it's possible Rhyme out speeds. They have very similar speed stats, and we're using a Rhyme that has a lot of speed investment. So like we might be able to turn it off. Yep. That was the plan the whole time. So actually, it did not matter that we froze. We didn't. It did not even matter that we froze it because we. I tricked him with that board. You can totally go for a KO now, but I took your Dynamax Mon out. Like, congrats. All right, what do I want to win with? <laughs> I think it's funny how I can like play like that. It's like, all right, how do I want to win? <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the freeze didn't really matter. But we have gotten a few freezes today. I think Premier is a little bit better. I might even go Max Rhyme or Max uh, Weezing this game. It's so like this, this sort of scenario, like, wouldn't we be super set if we had, like, a Black Sludge on this Weezing? It's raining with Weezing out. I switched it in after. I still at speed. Yeah, we just taunt. And I think we just missed. We know with both of these, though. The problem is, like, what is his last mod? That's, like, the real good question, right? It's, like, which one of these... I'm gonna do it like that. That's right. Oh, it's such a hard sell, actually. No, I think it's the right play. I think you just taunt the Amoongus. And you just max here. And go for... I, you have to Starfall so you don't get Spored. Right? No, I taunted the Amoongus, right? Yeah. So you actually just then max Overgrowth. Yeah, yeah, that works. It works. Cool. You don't want a Hyper Voice. And he wants to Rage Power. He's getting taunted, so it's fine. I guess this actually can mess me up only if... He's like mental herb. No, I'm still I'm because I'm not going for max starfall. I don't want a max starfall. Taunt hyper voice, like I don't want a hyper voice because my wheezing turns it off right now. Protect Amoongus? Go for it. So I get a free KO in your Politoed Chief? I'll take that. Maybe free. We'll see. Weezing already took one special attack or sorry, one speed drop. Yeah, so we might have to use a second one. Let's see, he might just be scalding our Weezing here. That'd be kind of lame. Goo just got frozen. I, I believe it. I do indeed believe that that's possible. Scald. Alright, cool. Doesn't do nearly enough. There's a Citrus. That's actually a nice This is one of few times Citrus is super value. Taunt block. Let me think about how I actually want to do this. He can Rage Powder. I don't think that really matters, though. Like, I can just straight up taunt here and go for, like, so many different things. actually KOs. I think this will KO. He's gonna withdraw Moongus into the taunt. So like we actually get a big damage move between her. Dracovish. Alright cool. We're, gonna, we're still in a good spot. d will just kind of melt that guy up. Protect Polytoes. This is actually gonna do a lot still. And then I can just protect my Weezing next turn and go for d -Gling. 
He were busted. This is actually going to do a decent amount. Is it more offensive wheezing? No. It's not. It's just raining. It's actually like full HP special D for the most part. Yo, taunting the Dracovish. Get some health back. I think we just protect Weezing, because like Weezing is a guaranteed beat versus Amoongus. Yeah, I'm gonna Starfall, so we're just gonna protect. And he can't protect. And if he switches in Amoongus, like I don't have to worry about uh, taunting an next turn. And if he waits out my max, and I just come in, I just start slamming AoE moves. Like AoE is where we win. Like I still think this is like this is a game under, because we can just kind of dumpster all his mons now. That Polito, I don't know if he really wants to eat the uh I don't know if Polito really wants to eat that damage. I guess we can still technically throw here somehow. Like that's definitely still possible to throw here. Cause like I don't know if I can actually break that Amoongus any other way. Like I have to taunt it so it can't use uh Rage Powder when I actually need to go for big damage on Dracovish. But now it can't use Spore, so I don't have to respect it as much. Like we can just double target that slot, you know? And I take the terrain away, so like it's not like I'm giving him any more health. I think we actually just nuke that slot. Like just sludge bomb here. And Eagling. Sorry, uh hyper hyper voice. Hyper voice is not as good on the switch in. I don't really need to taunt it that much. I think I'm I think the Deagling's better, because it's better for Polytoad. Yeah, Dean Gleam and Touch Bomb sounds pretty good. I agree. Hyper Voice turned up. I, yeah, I know. So next turn we'll kill the Politoed. Totally Skull, but it can't get the burn. Really doesn't like this Weezing right now. I'm, I, look, I think he actually is trying to Spore. There is what we in the biz... Unless he's trying to like pump pol up his Toad. Energy Ball. Wise choice, actually. It's actually going to be kind of lame. Considering that might put my Dracovish... You might put me within Dracovish range. But we are going to be able to take that thing out next turn. So we got Sludge Bomb. Yeah, as long as we kind of end this with uh, two mons that can... Yeah, I think we're okay. Because both these mons can hit Dracovish. And the Primarina should be faster than the Weezing. And you can't care everything. We also have a sucker-punching fire mon in the back. Yep, you already got it. Yeah, we are, we are great minds think alike. So let's see, though. Um, I guess that the only thing that I wouldn't really like here is like if he protects Amoongus this turn, right? And then, like, I kill the Politoed, and then he's going to be able to bring out the Dracovish. And Dracovish might be able to, like, get a crit on my Primary or something. Yeah, that, that this is the right play, I think, for him. Weezing can still get burned because not searching the ground. No. That would only work if we had the Levitate Weezing. This Weezing is still, like, this Weezing, even though it looks like it's not touching the ground, it doesn't have Levitate. Weezing against ground attacks. I think the right play is actually still just to protect the Weezing for this turn. Because, like, I don't think Vicious KOs there, but Vicious would kill the Weezing, right? And then Deagling would be a double tap. And there's not that much you can do. Is that Boo subscribed at Tier 1 for 15 months? Yo, thank you so much, my friend. Guys, put some subs up. Appreciate it. Rage Powder, go for it. Nothing else you can do, right? Might as well. And the Fisher Surrend targeting the correct target, ignoring the Weezing. Does he get the crit? He does not. You can only stop one. I'll take those. Alright, so here is the hard part. I think we actually have to, like, Sludge Bomb here and just do the same exact play. No, you have to hit the Dracovish. It'll force the Rage Powder. Dracovish ain't got Protect. I almost threw that one. Dracovish ain't got protect. He has to rage powder me away. Can't use both. Finally, one time without a crit. I know, right? It's, like, it's almost like we're bulky for a reason. You get only at one of us, and then we just come up with heat more and clean up the game. It's like, yes! I killed Primarina! It's like, did you, though? But did you, though? <laughs> you did. But, like, did you, though? Hopefully we can kill this Amoongus with a Sludge Bomb, right? Alright, cool. And the mist disappears. If you had protect, that would have been such a cool turn to like double protect if you had it, because it would have waited out my terrain, but he mores on top of it. He's like, yes, I can one-shot the heat more and then I'll win. It's like you will not be one-shotting me today. 
Yo, I'm a sucker for heat more victories. Yo, let's go. You ever seen a fish get killed by a fire type? Not even just a fire type, the worst fire type in the game. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Live for heat more. You'll love to see that. Against the rain team, just brought the heat more. Didn't even care. That guy should release his Dracovish. I think you have to like lead Weezing here. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, I actually think that like Weezing is a good lead against this board. Just because you can taunt Amoongus, and it's our only real way to taunt Amoongus unless we want to use Fake Out, which we don't. But Weezing's good. Like, Weezing Braviary actually isn't terrible, but Weezing Prim's actually kind of nice, so we can just go for, like, a lot of cool things there. Uh, Mr. Rhyme's definitely coming. And then, I think as weird as it sounds, I think you actually want to go Braviary for the mid-game. We'll see how this works. I have a couple ideas for how I want to make this one work. But if we win this one, um, that's definitely a notch in this team's belt that says this team's nutty AF. They shouldn't be going Lapras this game. Like, if they do, they can, but, like, we literally have a Mr. Rhyme. Like, Mr. Rhyme's already good versus most of your team, considering it's mostly, like, water types, like, and Ludicolos and things like that. So, yeah, Sableye Inteleon's much safer. And we just turn off the Sableye. We turn off the Inteleon, and uh, we're just in a good spot here. So let me actually think about exactly how I do want to do this. Because I, I feel that, like, you, we can get away with nuking that Inteleon right now. Like, I actually think the way to beat this is to, like, sit on your Weezing as long as possible. And just do it like that. Like, just get the Inteleon off the board. And right now we have a board that, like, you can't really do that much about. Because we're maxing with our um, Premier as well, so it's not like you can fake out it. Weezing Prim definitely feels like the safe lead. I agree. Like, it's it seems like it can do almost anything. And it really does tunnel people into going for the good fire attacks. If they even have them onto the Weezing, you can switch in Heat more. Um, they want to go for, like, the... Like, I feel like you should have a ghost type in here somehow, but I don't see a way that we can actually do it without taking out the Primarina. Unless you wanted to turn the Heat more into a Chandelure spot and have that double coverage. That'd be really nice. Especially for the PZ matchup. But we're going Max. Looks like he's not maxing. If he is Sash, that's weird. Because he should just be Scope Lens, right? I will see. Uh, I think this is still a good play for me. I feel like Protect Weezing is super underrated. And we don't actually want to kill the Sableye. We want Sableye to sit on that board as long as possible. I wonder if he's proccing a policy here. That'd be super nutty if he is. He might also be like trying to taunt me, so that's one of the reasons we're protecting. Fake out. Awesome. So I hope we're not proccing a policy. I hope we're not. That'd be really lame. We actually don't want to set Misty Train just yet, because we have like potential for Amoongus and a couple other things, don't we? Oh, thank god. I was like, no policy in Teleon. Not today. Um, let me actually think about what I want to do here, then. Like, I can set that same slot. I actually just think, like, so he has the potential to come in with the Moongus here. So, like, I can punish that. I think you want to actually strange stream into the Inteleon and go for a geyser into it because it will get redirected or not a geyser um an overgrowth i don't care about doing that much to the amoongus he's withdrawing it it's fine looty okay so he's gonna actually take a lot he might just lose it which is totally fine with me like overgrowth plus a strange team might be enough to kill unless he's vested yeah i think we kill it unless he's are you citrus please go away I'd love it if we shoot that thing off the board. That feels amazing. That that Sable, I can't do shit right now. He's big use. So you can hard cast a rain dance. Trick, go for it. Are you tricking a eject button? Ah, nice. Nice. Nice vest on your Sable, by the way. Have fun with that. Um. Yeah, I think I might actually just keep the Pre-Marina in. Because, like, it would force you to hit me. Right? So, like, I can totally just get away with going for a Sludge Bomb into that slot. And it'll force you to, like, go after me. Otherwise, you lose. So if you want to, like, expect me to switch and tip my reason, you just lose. You can totally switch on Sable. I don't give a shit. That's, def that's like, might as well be a KO. I wonder if he's actually protecting. 
Or he's going to take a turn to max guard it. Amoongus is a good Pokemon here, but we do have Mr. Rhyme in the back. Yeah, we just shut him off with the uh, Weezing Tech. Love the way that Pokemon works. Max and Talon looks so cool. He has to hit the Prim, by the way. So, like, we'll soak any damage he wants to throw at us and get a free hit with Weezing. He hit the Weezing, so he's just going to lose. He's like, what? I could have hit you and forced you to switch. But it's like, why would I actually switch then? You know? One shot. Oh, my Weezing. Never lucky. Neutralizing Gas Wars off. Take that Life Orb damage, which is a correct item choice on Intellion, in my opinion. But I'll take that. How's that Sableye Mamoongus board treating you, my guy? You just hit it. You got greedy. These are both good against all of those. But I think that Mr. Rhyme's just a little bit better because we can fake out the Amoongus. And. Yeah, we can fake out the Amoongus. He's still vested, so like I don't have to worry about shit. He's gonna fake out our uh, Pre Marina and give us a free switch into our Braviary. also potentially break sash depending on how he wants to play it yeah i don't care he should just scoop though show me that big scoop i wonder if he thinks he can actually still fight this he, he might still think he can fight the mr ryan there's a fake out another print he's like yes i got him it's like thanks buddy thanks for activating that item for me really do appreciate it There's a reason we sent out Mr. Rhyme instead of the Braviary. Because we wanted to guarantee stop that Amoongus from doing anything this game. And then we just double into Amoongus for the rest of the game. So, like, Psy Shock plus Brave Bird should still be able to get the KO, even if, like... Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, I actually think Freeze Dry might be a little bit stronger. Um, I think I'm still good with the Psy Shock, though. If it's full HP defense and Koa Berry, he might not die. <laughs> But uh, Freeze Dry would be nice because if he's like full HP defense would still do a lot. But you can see we totally had that one rock and loaded. Yo, climbing the ladder right now. This guy tried to gimmick us with a trick Egypt button Sableye and Talon lead. And we're like, no.